Hello lovelies! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are here to learn how to make mermaid jewelry, specifically a mermaid necklace, then you have come to the right place. Or have you? <laughs> Today we will actually be making a siren necklace, similar to the one that I wear quite frequently. But before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell-shaped icon. If you don't hit that bell-shaped icon, you may never see my videos again because YouTube hasn't been showing my videos to all of my subscribers. And if you click that icon, you will get email notifications and like notifications on your computer screen letting you know when I post a new video. That way, they aren't lost forever in the abyss of the internet. So please click that. So what will you need for this tutorial? In order to make the spooky gothic siren necklace, you will need some different paints. I like to use Martha Stewart's multi-surface crafting paint. Uh, I might not be using all these colors. Actually, I won't be using all these colors, but they look nice together, so I'm going to line them up like this. <laughs> you will also need a piece of wax paper or something to cover your work surface with. You will need a paper towel or something to wipe your hands with. And you will need a seashell. I already painted this one black using this black satin paint. And I already drilled a hole in it. You can click up above to see a tutorial that will teach you how to drill a hole in a seashell. As for painting your seashell black, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Just paint it black, put one or two coats on it. I had to do it ahead of time so that these other coats would dry and we wouldn't have to do this tutorial over a couple of hours. <laughs> Today we will just be learning how to paint the seashell in a gothic sort of fashion. And then tomorrow we will be turning it into a necklace, so stay tuned. Put your seashell on your wax paper so that you don't get paint everywhere and ruin everything because the paint we'll be using does not come off. If you don't know where to find the paint or the materials in this video, I'll try to post everything in the description box or maybe a blog post. We'll see if I have time to do that. However, I do suggest that you just go to the craft store and find these things because you'll probably find them there. But if not, you're more than welcome to check the description. So as I mentioned earlier, I already put black paint on this shell here and I drilled the hole in it. <laughs> the black paint that I used is this one here. This is not sponsored by Martha Stewart Crafts. It's just the best paint to use for the situation. This paint is called Beetle Black and it is a satin paint. So put one to two coats of that on your shell and let it dry. The next coat of paint we'll be using will be this pearl purple. This is called Eclipse. And you are more than welcome to use a sponge or a paintbrush for this step, but uh, guys, if you've been here long enough, you know I'm a finger painter. And I'm gonna use my fingers. So pour a little bit of the purple paint right here. And we are going to lightly brush, starting at the bottom, just kind of dab some paint into the uh, end of the shell, maybe about a couple of millimeters up, like this. Feel free to do what looks best to you. And we're going to just pat that in there. So your shell should look like this. And now I want you to take a little bit of paint on your finger, rub it onto the wax paper so you just have a light layer, and go on the ridges of the shell and just kind of start at the bottom and brush up. Quick motion. The idea is to get a little bit of paint in the uh, dips of the shell, but, but the majority of the paint should be on the ridges. Go as far up as you would like to. I don't want to go too far up. If you go too far up, just take your finger that is dry, has no paint on it, and just brush it off while it's still wet. I'm going to take a little bit more paint and I'm just going to try to even out the little paint lines inside of the grooves. Make them kind of even. We're gonna let that coat dry for just a little bit, then we'll come right back. You should only have to wait a couple of minutes for this to dry since we only put on a light, swipey, thin, streaky layer of paint. Uh, so if your paint is dry, go ahead, do the same technique, dab your finger in some of that purple paint, wipe it off a little bit, and concentrate on getting 
more paint on the outer edges than on the inside and don't go as high up when you do your streaks. This will create a bit of a gradient between the purple and the black. As you can probably see, I was doing a bit of a tapping motion with the paint on my shell to get a little bit more paint on the ridges, but not too much. So this little ridge here is bothering me, so I'm gonna put a little more paint on the inside. It's good to have your nails cut for this because it makes it easier to get in there. When you are satisfied with the look of your shell, allow it to dry for a couple of minutes. Once that layer of paint has dried, Determine whether or not you need another layer of purple paint. Then grab silver. This is a metallic silver by Martha Stewart Crafts. And this paint is called Sterling. You can obviously use whatever color combinations you would like, but since my silicone mermaid tail is purple, black, and silver, I will be using purple, black, and silver for my shell necklace. We will not need much of this silver paint, just a little bit. Dab a little bit of that off of your finger onto the wax paper, and we're just going to focus on putting a little silver accent around the rim of your shell. So kind of just dab it along the sides, middle, and up. We don't want to cover up all the purple, we just want to put a little bit of silver on your shell necklace. The silver paint should be dry now, so what I'm going to do, which you do not have to do, is I'm going to take a little bit of the purple paint and I'm going to brush it on the middle area of the ridges right here, just to give it a little bit more of a purple highlight, since I did cover up quite a bit of the purple with the silver. looks pretty good to me. I'm going to wipe my finger off, which obviously you will want to do in between different types of paint. Is that last layer of purple paint dry yet? If not, feel free to watch one of these mermaid videos up here to entertain yourself. Otherwise, if your shell is completely dry, we're going to move on. Grab yourself some of this. This is my favorite paint by Martha Stewart Crafts. <laughs> this one is almost empty, but I have another bottle on hand if I need it. This is called Sugar Cube. It is a glitter top coat, and it is really incredible. And what we're going to do for this is just put a layer of this glitter all over the colored part of your shell. Make sure to put it kind of heavy towards the bottom if you want. That'll make it even more glittery glittery, whatever you want to say. Now take a smaller amount and brush it up the ridges of your shell. I'm going to put a little bit onto the black area of my shell. This kind of helps blend together the um, colors that you put on your seashell. You make your paint job look more seamless. This is going to take a while to dry, so let it sit. Once your sparkly paint is dry, you are all done with your seashell. This can now be used for mermaid jewelry or siren jewelry or gothic clothing of some sort. I'm going to be turning this into a swimmable mermaid necklace or siren necklace, if you will. And that video will be posted tomorrow. However, you can use this to create jewelry, you can glue it to baskets, you can glue it to a treasure chest, you can turn it into a hair beret, you can really do whatever you want with this. It'll probably do fine outside too because this paint is extremely weatherproof and it is like waterproof or whatever. Very, very, very durable stuff. Please make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video and please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because if you actually want to find my videos, that's probably the only way you're ever going to find them again. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video if you liked it, and feel free to share it with all of your friends.
Thanks for watching. Have a magical day.